Hello everyone, and welcome to what should be the finale of Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode, we kicked the shit out of Zeeg, and turned out it wasn't actually Zeeg, it was actually Melbu Frama, who took over Zeeg's dead-ass body. Check out his dead-ass body. Dad. It's my dad. My dad. My dad. We kicked my dad's ass. Trust us to take care of him. I will defeat him. Okay. Anyway, also, when we, uh... When, when, when Shauna was about to become the God of Destruction, Melbu Frama decided to take her spot. So that's Melbu Frama in front of us, and we're about to go take him on, or her on, or it's a him, right? I think so. Anyway, let's see what's going on with Shauna's dead ass body. Maru. I was gonna give you a little tour, but I ended up coming all the way here. Oh, I see. But I was right. I was right in falling dark. I realized it. In this world, there are lots of people living with lots of thoughts, so that there are lots of fights, but there's happiness and joy as well. This is such an awesome world, I won't let him destroy it. Yeah, fuck Melbu Brahma. I'm totally ready to go. I'm just gonna kneel down and stare at Shauna's ass a little bit more. Hold on. Shauna, wait for me a little. Yeah, so I guess Shauna's gonna be okay, I'm assuming, since, you know, her spot got taken. Anyway, let's talk to all my homies before we get this going. Rose, what do you what do you got to say about it? Rose, are you ready? Yes. Anytime. Ooh, she ready. Ooh, she ready. Anyway, Alberto, what do you think? We have been together since the moon gem was taken and Lavitz passed away. We have fought, laughed, cried, and walked together all the way here. But we have to end the walk here. We have to walk hard for the sake of the goal that led us here and for the sake of all living creatures now let's go let's go what about you Hatchel Dot you look just like me when I was young did you notice I didn't understand my daughter's pain at all that's why I dragged it around until now Shana is the chosen girl as the soul to destroy the world. When she discovered, rediscovered it, when she discovered it, nobody but Shauna suffered as much. When Shauna comes around, I don't know where we will be, but I know one thing, you are the only one who can ease Shauna's pain. But it won't be realized unless we stop the Wingly who wants to be a god. Now, let's finish it up. I'll pan my secret art into his fat belly. Sounds like a plan, sub girl. When I decided to go with you, Queen Teresa told me to learn the meaning of the fate that Soa gave us. This is what I think. Fate belongs to those who are living. We can destroy the fate that somebody else made up. And this is the moment. Dart, let's do it. Stop him for all living creatures and their fate. Okay. Kongol, last but not least. What up, bruh? Emperor Dole would often say, to make a world where all species are equal, a strong leader is needed. But Congo knows anybody can make a world where all species are equal. Even you are not Dragoon, Gigantos, Humans, Minentos, Winglies, anybody. Anybody having the feelings can do. Alright. You guys ready? Oh wait, hold on. But Congo found out, anybody can destroy the world too. Gigantos, human, wingly, god, anybody. Gongo found out one more thing. We can stop him. Dragoons can save the world. Gongo, hero of Gigantos. Gongo doesn't fear god. We can stop him. Dragoons can save the world. Alright. Are you ready? Let's do this. Melbu Frama, I'm coming. Let's go. Our last battle. Let's do this. Let's go, our last battle. Let's do this. Repeating myself. Alright, well you already know the party I'm gonna use. Let's do it. Let's not fucking beat around the bushes. Let's fucking do it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm excited, dude. Finales are always nice. I'm a little worried how difficult this might be, but we'll see. We'll see. I have acquired it all. Oh, sorry. I have acquired all. The immortality and the ultimate power. I am the god who purifies the world. 
under the fate determined by Soa. Death to those who rebel against fate. Death to all life. And may your death bless the new world to which I shall descend. We won't let you. We are the Dracoons. We are ready to fight against fate. Let's go! We're the Dracoons. We came to get down. <laughs> Let's do it, dude. I'm excited. This is going to be like a multi-formed motherfucker. I have no idea. But we're going to do our thing. We're going to do our thing, baby. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Hashel's kicking this off. All right, start with the power down. Start with the power down. All right, he's got multiple pieces. He got tentacles, so that means fuck him up. Yeah. Power him down, and then we'll just fucking psych bomb X the shit out of his tentacles with him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so tent tentacle did a little bit of a whip, whip backlash smack. All right. Um, I'll have to spend one turn doing power up on herself. But that's fine. She's fast enough. She'll make up for it. Come on, baby. Don't bitch slap me. Come on, baby. Don't bitch slap me too hard. All right. Speed up on dart, and then we can get started. Show them who farted. We can get started. All right, we'll start off by just punching him directly in the face. Truly must focus. Additions will be key to victory here. All right, good start. 11 hundo, good start. All right, what do you got for what do you got for me on your first turn, first real turn? That's not a tentacle whip. What was that? Oh, okay. I was like, did he, did he do anything? Oh, he's doing this move, magma, whatever it's called. The fire attack for all. He's doing that one. Oh, this is actually going to suck for Maru, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I lied. My magic defense is too good. Okay, well then. Never mind. Get ready for this. <laughs> I hope this kills all his tentacles in one hit. That'd be sick. Mashing that X button. One. Yeah, got the two hundo. Yes. Oh, good lord. There goes all his arms. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. Um, shit. I really... Ooh, we gotta try out this new Dragoon, don't we? We have to. I feel obligated to do so. We must. I gotta see what the Silver Dragoon's all about, man. Or whatever. The fucking Divine Dragoon. Yeah, buddy. Watch as Dart becomes divine, like all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, check out that shit. Fucking looks ridiculous. <laughs> all right, well, now that we have that shit, should we, uh, uh, we don't even have to do that one. We can just do this one. All the pieces are already dead, so we might as well focus on a single target. 100% single fucked. Get it. <laughs> Kaboom. It's like almost mechanical looking, except for that it looks so organic on his like his arm cannon. It's like trying to be some Metroid shit. But it looks so organic, it looks weird. It doesn't look like he's just wearing a suit. It actually looks like it's his arm. It's weird. Anyway. Suck it! 2k damage to the face, bitch. Alright, um... I don't know. Should we just punch him again? I think punching him just sounds like a good idea. Oh, come on! I was doing it. Don't fuck with me, man. Alright, um... Shit. I almost don't want to waste her or waste any more all magic just in case his tentacles come back. Kinda wanna save it. Also, does he have an element? No, he just I didn't think he would, just making sure. Well shit, let's just make her go dragoon mode then. I don't mind. And I'll just use her magic. I don't mind using up some magic right now, because I want I I want a reason 
to use my MP healing items, so I'm just going to try to use up all magic. And this is perfect because it only hits single. So, I figure why not. I figure why not. Why not. You don't have to be alone. Because you hit me with a single. Single. Just pretend that you go. Ah, just stop. Just stop. Just no, no singing of a song like that. When it doesn't even have any relevance to what we're doing. Drown him. Drown him in his sorrows. Melfu Frama shall not be. Shall not be. This is so exciting. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of just giddy to be at the end here. And I'm like worried that he's going to have like multiple forms and we're going to be here for like an hour fighting this motherfucker. Like right now he's still in the blue, so I don't know how much longer we have to go. But I'm just going to keep rocking his tits. Just keep t tit rocking, dude. Just keep tit rocking. kind of trying to listen to the music, but honestly, I'm not hearing anything that's blowing me away. It's just like that epic boss fight music, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Maybe I just can't hear it clearly. The barn dragon garden. Kaboom. Thomas's final smash, pretty much. Just a big wave beam cannon out of her arm. Nice, nice. All right, Ash, we'll punch him in the face. Do it. Punch him in the face. Don't fuck up your addition. Damn, dude, we are off to a good start on damage. I wonder how much HP he has. Oh, music stopped. Uh oh. He was still blue, so are we are we dealing with form number two here, or what's happening? The first generation. What is he talking, or is this just words on the screen? First generation. Okay. Uh. The music just got epic as fuck. Yo, here I was talking shit about the music not being all that interesting. Now you're talking my language. All right, cool. Um, I'm just gonna hit him with a freezing ring because why not? All right, Matt, the music has to go back down a notch. The sound effects are too loud to go with the music. The music's quiet. Freezing ring. And I gotta hear Maru say "Fainting Rain" and it's all loud and shit. But yeah, the music all of a sudden just picked up the pace when that happened. That was kind of cool. I like it. So wait, I didn't even check. Oh, I can't when she's in dragon mode. Did that? Did, that didn't reset anything, obviously, because everybody's still in their dragon form. Wait, that used. Oh, he only has 100. That used 50. All right, well, we're gonna do some fucking dragon attacks for regulars. Do it, Dart. Stabby. Stab, stab. Stabby, stab, slash. Pretty much looks like the regular red dragon attack, but even stronger. Alright, so I assume all my items didn't reset. They did not. I just had to check, though. Alright, punch him in his face. Now, I wonder... I'm assuming the amount of damage I did was directly linked to why he changed forms. I'm hoping that's the case, because he was still blue when he got quote-unquote defeated or whatever. Anyway, just keep dealing out big chunks of damage. He'll probably keep transforming. The fact that that's at first generation makes me think, oh my god, how many generations is he going to be? Is he going to go through all 108 of them? No, that's species, not generations. But still, how many generations is he going to be, man? He doesn't even look as cool as he did before, either. He looks more primitive and ugly now. Ugly, Melbu Frama, you're ugly. You ugly. Yeah, yeah, you ugly. I want to use Hashel's Dragoon Mode, but I want to wait until somebody else's runs out. I don't want everyone to be Dragoon Mode for a you know. I don't want everybody to be stuck in Dragoon Mode there for a few multiple turns. 
especially since I don't know what this is gonna do. <laughs> oh hell no. He just made Maru part of his body. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my god, that's bad. Oh, is this one of those situations where if I hit him it hurts Maru? Cause there was a boss a long time ago that I fought, and I was talking shit about how I was trying to hit him, and then I wondered why Maru died, or whoever I was using died. And it's because I was attacking them myself. Did that hurt Maru or not? Let's find out. I did not hurt Maru. Okay, so he just has Maru inside of him. That's always fun. Well, whatever. I'm not. I'm not taking Dart out. Or I'm not making Hashel into Dragoon mode until Dart is done. Damn Hashel! Double turns. Bruh. Bruh. Good shit, dude. Good shit. Can you spit her back out already? Because I don't want to have to deal with your shit. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Ow, ow, ow. This one's going to hurt, isn't it? Hey, that looks like my divine, divine dragon cannon. He just did it right back to me. What a dick. Actually, that wasn't so bad since I'm in dragoon mode, bitch. Alright, well, until we accidentally hurt Maru, just keep smacking this fool. Oh, I fucked up? Oh well. Anyway, that should be Dark's last turn as Dragoon Mode. Good and bad, good and bad. And I'm immediately gonna make Hashel go his Dragoon Mode, just so I wanna use up all the MP if I can, and then just then I can use a full heal for all, all MP for everyone. Since I have one of those, I can actually make use of it. Alright, Hashel. Show him all about your Thunder Kid, bruh. Or Thunder God, even. Yeah. He's yellow. That's good. I'm assuming this is now based on the form. I never saw him get past blue on the first form, but that could just mean now he's going to have indicators for each form. Thunder God attack. Thunder God attack. Blah, 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 blah. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? You need some thunder on you now. And 723. That is not great, but I'll take it anyways. He got another turn. Fuck it. Use up your MP, bro. Use it all. I mean, the one good thing about using these magic attacks, even with Hashel, even if they're not as strong as his addition attacks, I know it's a guaranteed amount of damage instead of me having to focus and hopefully not fuck up his physical attack. You know what I mean? There's a chance I fuck that up. But with MP, magic attacks are guaranteed, you know, set amount of damage. I'm okay with using, using that up. Yes, that is basically saying I don't trust myself. <laughs> That's fine. It's whatever, dude. Damage is damage. Just wondering how long Maru is decommissioned from the battle. I'm wondering if it's just until we defeat this form. Which would be fine, I guess. It also kind of looks like he has another hole in his body to take another one of my party members. Hoping that it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. Um, keeping an eye on Maru's HP to make sure she's not getting hit by any of this shit. She's not, though. There you go, Dark. Good. That thousand and three, baby. Alright. Two more turns of this shit. Let's go ahead and use up the last of my MP with the kid. And then, we'll uh, wait till the battle is won. I wonder if Maru's still going to get to finish off her turns as a Dragoon, or if she's kind of screwed and I have to just live with the fact that she didn't get to finish using all her shit. I don't know. We shall see. Thunder Kid. Thunder Kid. Thunder, 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 Thunder Kid. Ooh, 482. Terrible, terrible. Alright. Wow, his turns has come so fast that I got to use all four of his Dragoon turns before Dart even got two turns. That's absurd. Absurd. Wow, that actually did more than Thunder Kid. Sad. Alright. Now what? Now what? What do you got for me, Melboo? Ow. Okay, well, that's one way to hurt both my characters, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, she got another turn. That's good. That means I can heal. 
this is good. This is good. He fucking rocked Dart with that attack, though. I was wondering how he was gonna use me, use me against me. He just fucking shot me in the face with my own character. That's cool. Rainbow breath. Rainbow breath. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use any of my other magic spells. It's tempting. It's tempting. Might save them for the next form, whatever that might be. Cause I don't know if any of the other forms are gonna have like multiple pieces. Since this is a single piece thing, I don't want to use any of my magic because all it does is hit. All those magic spells hit all, and it's like, what's the point? Still going into focus mode every time I do an addition, so gotta love the uh, random breaks in commentary just to focus. Yeah, yeah. And after like three attacks, we're already gonna be. Oh, 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 oh! We finished Gen Gen One done. Welcome to Gen Two. Music change. And. What? What? Third gen? We skipped second gen? What? I'm confused. Why did we skip the second gen? The epic music is kicking back in. Uh-oh. 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 Did we just kick his ass so hard that second gen didn't even get a chance, or what happened there? That was weird. All I know is this is a long build-up for whatever the fuck it's about to be. Who is it? Who's it gonna be? Wait, what? For what? Fourth generation? Hold on, what? I'm confused. Oh, look. I actually see a monster this time. Epic music. Oh yeah, the music got good again. Also, what the fuck is this thing? What kind of weird spaceship looking thing. Maybe I'm kicking his ass so hard that I'm skipping generations. I think I I think that might be what it is, guys. That's kind of cool. Though. I'm just I'm doing so good that it doesn't even matter. Anyway, keep focusing on kicking this candy ass. Kicking this candy ass, yeah. Alright, Maru, we have to build up your SP a little bit. I have to build it up a little bit, so I have to try and succeed at this fucking edition. Yay! That's one level up. Every successful one, we get one, one D level ready to go. Ow. 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 Psh. Weak. Weak shit, sir. Oh, we got another turn, though. He said, this is like a weird hat. It's full, like he's, he's literally a spaceship right now. It's super weird. Ow. Knocked everyone on their ass. Okay. Um. Dart. I guess you could just smack him. Yes. Tell him. Go. Tell him. Tell him. I don't want to make, make sure Dart fills up his SP all the way. So he has five full turns as a dragoon again if I want. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? What? I don't like that. Can I hit those? Oh yes, I can hit those. Ooh, that's exciting actually. All right, we're gonna use this turn to heal all my MP. I think. I'm wondering if I should use Maru. Have her go dragoon. Use the one set of MP she has, and then heal it all. Huh. It's tempting. Kind of want to just do it though. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. That way, Dart can go Dragoon right away too. I mean, what am I really saving it for? For 30 MP? Who gives a fuck? If I really want to heal Maru's MP, I got two more freaking Sun Rhapsodies. I ain't tripping. Dart's ready to transform now. I ain't waiting for Maru. God damn it. Um, in that case, Maru, um, she has an all attack. Actually, I can just use a magic. What am I talking about? She has an all attack. All right, let's use a magic. Do these have elements or no? These are just bomb stars. They're bomb stars. It's 
fuck them up. I'm gonna throw some fucking straight. Uh, let's use let's use spectral flash. That sounds fun. That one sounds like fun. Light attack for the win. One way to blow up a bomb: hit it with some light. Beams of spectral light. Eat it, bitch. Yeah. -yo. All right, give me a dart turn. Do it. Do it. Uh oh. What? Okay, we're jumping straight into fifth gen. Cool. We really. I think I really have just like ridiculously destroyed this battle. Like we're skipping gens like crazy right now. Anyway, we got to see a fish. And now the grass is green. And the trees have grown. And the green grass grows all around and around. And the green grass grows all around. Birds are flying on the ground, on the ground. And they're flying all around on the ground. And there's lizards on the trees. This is kind of an epic battle, but I'm, I'm still confused as to why it's doing this gen skipping like crazy. Six gen. Okay, here we go. Jesus. <laughs> what is happening with this shit? We're in the renaissance times now? Is that what's happening? Human times? Human times. Humans roam the earth. Paintings. Ancient art. Super strange. So very, verily confused. The sixth generation. Wow, this is... It's cool and everything, but I don't understand. Like, I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't. Human tragedy. Skeletons. People die. We get it. We get it. Guess what? It's time for... No? Six gen what um Oh god, now we're on a bed of death. Alright, bed of death and whatever the fuck this thing is. Fucking Kabuto. Kabuto plus Kabutops. It's like he got stuck in the middle of evolving from Kabuto to Kabutops. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, okay, um alright, I didn't have to go dragoon mode. So I guess we'll just punch him in his face. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and assume I just did so much damage in the beginning that I am like way ahead on this battle than I should be. That's gotta be it. Why would it go through all those gens and you don't have to fight anything? It's just weird to me. Because it looked like we were on a battlefield, right? And then this no enemy popped up, it just went to the next gen. It's just super weird. Anyway, we'll just focus on building up that SP some more. Damn it! We'll focus on failing some more. God damn it. Uh oh. Wow! Wow! Who's building the ice ring halo around me? This looks painful. This looks like one. This one looks like it's gonna hurt. Just saying. Oh god, it rained from another dimension. Ow! Ow! Whoa, that one really did hurt. Okay, that was a painful one. All right, no bullshit there. All right, we're going dragoon mode. Screw that. Save ourselves some damage. I'm just going to keep unleashing hell upon this bitch. Because it seems like he has a con a constant HP flow. He's still in the yellow, which means this is just all one guy. And we're just constantly doing damage to the same thing. As we go through generations and generations and generations of things. So, Divine Cannon, be damned. Chuck, chuck, boom. Quack, quack, boom. Can I shoot you in my face with my arm cannon? Chick, click, boom. It's a long animation, though. It's almost tiresome to watch it so many times. Makes me sweepy. Sweepy. Click, click, boom. To the face. Oh, he's in the red. He's in the red. All right. Be on the safe side, though. I don't want to. I don't want to make her go into dragoon mode yet. So I'm gonna use a healing bodies. Healing bodies. Man, I'm starting to feel like I'm a little overprepared for final battle here. <laughs> Doesn't it feel that way? Feels like that to me. 
unless there's gonna be like another form after this where you know it's not Melbu Frama anymore, we're gonna be fighting God or the Virage Embryo or whatever. So I wanna be I don't wanna just start using all my shit just to use it, just in case. You never know. You never know. Um, Hashel, you can go and just punch this bitch, why not? Damn it, really? Whatever. Alright, one more for her. Yay, we did it again. Perky step in your face. Perky step. Per per perky step. Perky step. Get wrecked with my perky step. What is happening? Oh my god. Tornado! Hey, that was uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Could have been worse. I think that did like a set of percentage of damage. That's what it seemed like. Anyway, I'm just going to punch him in his face again. Until we've maxed out our SP, I'm not concerned about not punching him in the face. So punch him in the face. In the face. Plus, Hashel's attack just does good damage. Might as well use it. Oh, that hook claw tail to the face. I see how it is. Not so bad. <laughs> uh, not so bad. Alright, let's DG cannon this bitch. And I might actually use a Sun Rhapsody on Dart. So we can just keep unleashing divine cannons. <laughs> it's better than his physical attack, I think. I think. Mm, I guess we could do one physical attack and find out. He does get five turns as a dragoon. So even healing his MP. I'll do one attack as Dragoon Mode, see if it's worth it, and if it's not, then I'll refill his cannon. I mean, I'm sure it'll be worth it, but I mean, is it going to do more than the cannon? Cannon does over a thousand, which is very good. Very, very good for me to do over a thousand for any attack turn. It's very good, very good, very good, 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 very good. Alright, so we'll, we won't focus on healing the MP yet. Though it is in my brain to do so. If I need to. Just gonna wait till he gets another turn to worry about it though. In the meantime, just keep hitting him with a hammer and punching him in the face. It's the best way to go. That's how we row. I guess I'm not really punching him in the face, but punch him in the spot between his tail and his body. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's got friends. Okay. He's got friends. He brought friends. Maybe I'll use some magic. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. He changed forms too. Uh-oh. Form of different form. What's happening? He's eating all the dragoon power. Is that what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Dragoon's attack and defense. Oh, that's bad. Well, then I guess we're not going Dragoon mode anymore unless I'm going to use it to heal. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm just going to Healing Breeze again to be on the safe side. Huh. He just lowered my attack and defense as Dragoon mode. That's bad. Um. Well, shit, then I'm probably not going to heal his MP and use magic and stuff. What's the point? Instead, let's just hit these motherfuckers with an attack. Thunder, bitch! Thundercats, ho! Kinda glad he summoned some little friends. It gave me a reason to use another all magic, bitch. Get it. Get it. Get it, ho. Get it. Get it. Get it, ho. Get it. Electrocuted, though. Get it. Get it. Get it, ho. Six hundo's not great. Um. Well, I guess we're just going to attack. I'll just attack the main guy. Why waste time attacking the little bastards with a single attack? Shit! Unless you press it too early. 75! Alright, good shit. <laughs> that was stupid. What the hell? Oh my god, that was not cool. Don't do that again, please. That was painful. Um, I am going to heal her from that, because that was bad news bears, and I don't want her to die. I don't want anyone to die. Safe side, don't care. Using it now. 
because I'm going to have her just keep doing magic anyways. Um, how many lag I got left? I got three attacks left for all. Fucking throw it at him. Why not? This is getting... This is feeling more and more like once we win this, it's over. Like, the fact that this is lasting so long through generations and shit. Like, once we're done with this battle, it's got to be over. There can't be more to this. Unless it's like one final form, but that's fine. I'm still wondering how many more generations are left. Shit. Is this the last generation? I mean, we're on the, the age of man or whatever, so... I, I would assume that's the last generation, especially for how long it took to build it up. Um, I guess I'll just attack, man. Just keep attacking. Hopefully I don't fuck it up this time. Alright, do more than 75, please. Do like 275. 121, wow. Dragoon mode got destroyed. There is no reason to use anything Dragoon mode then. Holy crap. Let's get rid of these monsters, fuck it. They're in the red now, we might as well just punch them to death. I was kinda hoping it was gonna die there. Oh shit, what is that? Oh no, what? Oh! Well that's not good. That's no bueno. He just fucking tore dart to shreds with that shit. Well, fuck. Okay, I need to heal. I'm not even gonna take a chance on anything because I feel like now that I know what that does when it dies, it's probably gonna insta-kill like when it when the other one dies, it's gonna insta-kill automatically too, which is not good. Impersonating? What? No. Don't do that. Oh my god, really? Wait, what? What the fuck? Um. Well, now I'm even more confused. What the fuck just happened? I'm not using magic now. Screw that. Wait. Oh, okay, I fucked that up accidentally, but. What the heck, man? This is strange. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, alright. I'm wondering if the dragoon thing's gonna wear off, or is that just for the rest of the battle? don't know. I'll tell you that I'm not a fan. But it doesn't matter. We still got Dart at our disposal. It's all good. 1003. Yeah, see? What the fuck? What is special? What does that do? Is that good? Wow, what? Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that was good or bad, really. But I, mean, I got all my HP back. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I just don't know what this means for Hashel, man. Yay, the dragon block thing expired. Does he gonna do it again, or does he only do it when I'm in dragoon mode, I wonder? We'll see. Oh, he brought his little handy hand back out. Hello, handy hand. Okay, um... Do I take a chance and go Dragoon mode again? I'm almost tempted. Almost. Well, I can smack a fool for a thousand and three damage. And not worry about it. I'm gonna keep using special. Screw this. Just see what happens. Maybe he'll just keep healing me. I don't know what this shit's about, but I don't really care. If I win the game and I have this fucking fruitcake on my team, I don't give a shit. Kill him! Uh-oh. 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 This looks like it's gonna hurt. Oh, wait, haven't I seen an attack like this before? Um, uh, maybe not. Interesting. He did like a projection screen and then attacked the shit out of her. That was kind of an interesting attack. Well then. Um, you know, I'm not even going to be scared. Screw that. 
I'm gonna do going into fucking Dragoon mode. Screw this. While he's vulnerable, before he blocks Dragoon again, I'm just gonna throw some fucking water magic in his face right now. Why not? He's not blocking shit right now. Might as well take advantage of it. Suck a dick. Suck, suck, suck a dick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Suck a dick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Freeze him. Drown him. Wait for the water dragon. Do a long ass attack again. It's a long animation. This battle is long. Man, I've already been fighting this shit for over half an hour. Good lord. Just looking over at my fucking time over here, and I'm already at 40 plus minutes. I'm like, what the hell? Crazy, man. Battle takes a while. That's good though, it's an epic final battle. It should take a while, it shouldn't be over in five seconds. Maru's about to die. Fuck, this one's gonna suck. This one's gonna be painful, cause Maru... Wait. Wait, did this one do a lot of damage or li Oh, no, this one was fine. Okay, I was trying to remember which one that was. Never mind, we're okay. It only did a lot of damage to Dart, and Dart has a lot of HP, so I ain't tripping. I'm living on the edge right now, cause I'm hoping that... My Hashel replacement's gonna have another turn real quick. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we win? I might have done it, guys. Dart's going Divine Dragon mode. Dragoon mode. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And he's got the D-Buster. I think. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't do that. So we must be done. This must be victory right here. I'm just watching in awe right now. Sorry. Although this is, is this just the arm cannon attack again? That's not new. We just did that like eight times to this guy. Oh, like four times. Yeah, he's just doing the dragon cannon again. Although, I think they're trying to make it a little bit more epic. He's a more epico. It's kind of the same though. Did I win? I win, I guess. Is that the end of the game though? I mean, it's a long battle to have me. Oh, wait, shh, shh, shh. how big he is in that fucking form. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. I kept you waiting so long. I am sorry. Got another form. Rose. The time has come. This is the end of our long journey. Z. Could you come with me? Yes. I will never leave you again.
was an amazing pain scream from Shauna. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa. Holy fuck. Okay. Rose and Zeger gonna finish this, huh? Maybe not one more form. Shit. And the barrages go down. Yeah. Suck it, barrages. It's raining barrages. Am I really surprised? I told you guys that was probably going to happen. Well, that was interesting. Jesus Christ. What an explosion. Get over it. Dad, Dad was already dead. You knew that. You thought he was dead this whole time anyways. And then Rose. Rose is over 100 years old, or 11,000 years old, or whatever, however many years it was. We don't need her anymore either. She's she's run her course. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. Alright. Final scenes or something? Kongle's hanging out with Hashel in his hometown. Oh shit, teaching him how to do a little bit of that. He's gonna he's gonna try to do it, isn't he? Yup. Oh, there he goes. Oh Kongle. The hijinks they'll get into. <laughs> Piranha plants, okay, okay. I guess the hidden wingly towns can live in peace now. People leave them alone and no one cares. Or maybe now they're not hidden anymore. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. The world's supposed to be at peace, bruh. Of course, Crystal Palace. Miranda went home to her sisters. Which are all still alive. God damn it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's fine that they're all still alive. It's fine. No tragedy there. Okay, we got this town. Is anybody from here? I don't think anybody's from here, but Albert wanted to fuck the daughter, so maybe he went to go pick up his girl. Of course, back to this.
this town. The hustle and bustle of the, of the sails and stuff. There's Maru hanging out with her dude. Fireworks, like Mario style. Oh shit. Oh shit. See, he did marry the chick. I knew it. Not like it was that hard to figure out. I forgot what her name was, too. Anyway, he got himself a queen. small ass square in the middle of the screen <laughs> I didn't mention that yet but it's silly little little ending thing I wasn't expecting like full-on here's what everybody's doing actual cutscenes like not full rendered obviously FMVs but still rendered cutscenes nonetheless kind of cute all right not bad not bad at all now do we get the million mile long actual credits we do Whew, boy, man. Legend of Dragoon, my friends. It's been a long time since this game came out. And since I've always... And since I always had meant to come back and play it, it's nice to finally say that I finished Legend of Dragoon completely. I, I, can, I can stop saying, oh yeah, I played it, but I stopped on the fourth disc. That never has to be said ever again. I have now officially played the whole game. Ah, <sighs> big sigh of relief, man. Okay, where do we even start? What do I even... Oh, man. Like, get out my bucket list. PS1 RPGs, check mark Done. <laughs> it's like, not all of them are done yet, but this was one of the big ones that I really needed to go back and finish. So now that that's done, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, my God. The, the, the ever-growing list, or the ever-shrinking list of PS1 RPGs I have left to play is getting very, very small, which is nice. I, and I mean just me personally having not beaten a couple, you know, or haven't, haven't played a few of them. This was one of the few I needed to finish, and boom, we're there. Stop saying that. You said like four times already. So, what do I actually think about the game? Oh, God. This game is pretty freaking awesome. Especially for PS1. It's an amazing game. I would say the only thing that holds back any of it, in my opinion, has been the translation, which was fucking atrocious. Worst translation dialogue I've seen in such a big game. It's probably the worst. Like literally the worst. I can't think of a bigger game like this where I've seen translation be this bad. Like, this is bad. Like, Final Fantasy Tactics has weirder translation, but at least the conversations and stuff flows. Even if, like, all the, the weird translated names are very strange in the American version of Tactics, that doesn't even matter. That pales in comparison to how badly written the dialogue is in English for this game. But, I mean, the this conversation still came across. Like, I understood what, what, what people were trying to say. So, it's like I didn't understand that. But there was, like, plenty of typos. Plenty of conversational disconnects. Plenty of weird flowing issues with conversations and dialogue. So, I mean, just, just having to read it all out loud was really, really, really made it stood out even more. But otherwise, the, everything else about this game is pretty freaking sweet. The graphics are great for PS1. The gameplay and the battle system is great. I love the additions. I love the Dragoon stuff. That's all good. The item stuff is good. The items being magic. It turns out it's kind of weird, but it's still good. Uh, 
just yeah, everything about that is good. I like I love how you run into random battles with the arrow cursor. That's really great. So you know when you're about to run into a battle. Um, lack of world map was okay because of how the game was laid out and the fact that you don't need to backtrack much anyways. It's not you know it kind of doesn't matter as much. Um, it's not really about exploring the world, finding the next place. It's more just about let's go to the next part of the story. This was more of a story driven game, much less so. Here's a big world that you're gonna fucking go to all these places. No, it's more like here, here's the next place you're gonna go, and the story will take you there. Like, I am okay with RPGs that do that as long as everything else about it does it well. And overall, it was done well because the story itself, regardless of the dialogue issues and other, you know, words, the story itself is pretty good. I like the story a lot. And even though a lot of the build-up stuff they try to build up is so obvious, like the whole thing that Rose is the black monster, Sean is the moon child, like those are the main twists in the game that you can pretty much guess from like the first, you know, disc if you really just decide that that's probably the case, especially with if you pay attention to the dialogue and how people are treating everyone, like how, the reason why they're after Sean in the first place. Well, what reason could they possibly have? Maybe she's the moon child that they keep talking about. Well, that's an easy one to figure out. And then... Why is Rose so, like, off-put by this black monster business? Because she is the black monster, blah, blah, blah. She's the black dragoon. Why can't she be the black monster? That kind of thing. But then they threw in some nice twists with the Zeke thing, and then the Zeke not being Zeke, somebody controlling Zeke's body, like that with Mel Buframa. That, that, that was pretty good. I liked that whole twist. That was, that was a nice little final twist before you fight the final battle. And it made sense because we did learn about Mel Buframa and what his intentions were. So to have him actually be the one that was behind everything when it came to that made a lot of sense. So it wasn't like it was out of nowhere. We, they actually did build up what Melbu Frama was all about when we were talking to the Wing Luke chick. So, well done. Well done. Very well told story. Very, very good for PS1. I don't know where I would put it on my uh, best of RPGs, but definitely a good one. Definitely, definitely a good one. Just sorry that it took me so long to come back to it and play it. But I'm glad I got to play it for you guys. That, that made it a little bit more special than just playing it on my own time, it, which I probably would have got bored. Eh, I wouldn't have got bored, but, you know, I would have just kind of went through the motions, beat the game, and booyah, we would have been done. Probably wouldn't have paid attention to how bad the dialogue was if it wasn't for the videos. Anyway, there's your voice acting, because that matters in this game, because there's so much talking. Mm, make sure you write all these Oscar winners down. Because her voice actually was so good. <sighs> yeah, for real, though. Um, I don't know. Music was good. What else do we need to talk about? I talked about graphics already. Graphics were good. I don't know. Not much else to say. The game's pretty good. The game's pretty good. Is that really the end of the credits already? Because that seemed kind of short for a PS1 ending. I'll be glad if it is, though. Cause then we got a nice boom one hour video boom done. Okay. That is that it? Just a oh, shot of the world with birds. Okay. Let me guess. Rose and Zeke. Symbolism. Gotta love that symbolism. Yep. Happily ever after, the red dragoon and the per and the black dragoon chilling together forever, and forever. How long? <laughs> the end of time. All right, guys. It says the end. It's right there in our face. The fin screen means you're done. The shot any RPG player wants to see before he feels completely complete, completely complete, is the fin screen. In this case, the end. Fucking. Sweet, dude. Oh my god. It's so exciting to be done with this because, man, it's been a long ride. It's been a long ride. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the LP. What am I going to do next? Well, I always have to do a blind RPG. I have too many RPGs I haven't played yet in my life that just need to keep going. So let's pick up the next one and jump right into it. Um, it'll be a lot shorter than this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'll just give you guys a slight hint of it will be another PS1 RPG that I've never played and that's the only hint you're getting so strap in everyone I will be starting it early in the week so yeah let's do it
Peace out, y'all. Wait, this is a, I can't do anything on this screen, right? Oh, wait, I can press start. Okay, well, whatever. Sorry I didn't leave you on that screen. <laughs> Peace out.